The question of how the universe began has fascinated humans for millennia. Long before telescopes and physics, ancient Indian sages asked the same question modern science still asks today, how did the universe begin? But over 3,000 years ago, the Rig Veda, one of the world's oldest known scriptures, posed that question in a way no civilization had before. It's called the Nasadiya Sukta, or the Hymn of Creation. It doesn't describe God shaping the cosmos. It asks questions that sound eerily similar to modern cosmology. It begins, Then there was neither existence nor non-existence. There was no sky nor the space beyond. This sounds strikingly like what physicists call the pre-Big Bang state, a time when even space and time themselves didn't exist, when all matter and energy were compressed into an unfathomable singularity, a point beyond our understanding of physics. Then the hymn says that one breathed without air by its own power. This one can be seen as the primordial energy, the unified field, the potential from which everything would arise. Next comes tapas or heat. From heat was born that one. In modern terms, that's the Big Bang, an unimaginable burst of energy and heat, the moment the universe expanded from nothing into everything, and then desire, comma, the primal seat of mind. It's as if the universe itself wanted to exist, reflecting what we today call self-organizing complexity, the tendency of matter and energy to evolve into stars, galaxies, and eventually consciousness. But the hymn doesn't end with certainty. It ends with awe. Who really knows how creation happened? The gods came after creation. Who then knows? Perhaps the one who looks over all knows. Or perhaps even he does not. Even after centuries of science, we find ourselves in the same place. We can trace the universe back to a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, but we still don't know what came before. The Nasadiya Sukta teaches us something profound, that the pursuit of truth begins with wonder, not arrogance. That humility before the unknown is the highest form of knowledge. So perhaps in a sense, ancient seers and modern scientists have always been looking at the same mystery, one through meditation, the other through mathematics and both whisper the same truth. The universe may never be fully explained, only experienced.